it's Monday evening and I've been trying to put out a vlog video once a week, generally Monday night, Monday sometime. And I have intended to videotape so many different things <clears throat> and it didn't happen. Um, last week was spring break so the kids were home part of the week. Part of the week they were in Idaho, and then when they came home, their cousins came, so we just had fun. The kids were just having a ball. We had a great time. Today, Ali's here for a little while. Is that you? Who's that baby? Hi. <laughs> She's very happy eating crackers. It's a dojo night, so that means dojo dinner. The guys have kind of gotten to where they don't like to eat a heavy meal before they do all their working out judo karate kickboxing, you know, stuff. So, they like me to put together these steak salads, so that's what I'm doing. I have strawberries and peppers and spinach in here. I cooked up some bite-sized steak. That's gonna go in there. I make this sauce. One of the guys at the dojo called it a dank sauce, which apparently means good now. <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, this is olive oil. Balsamic vinegar, maple syrup, uh, plain Greek yogurt, salt and pepper, and spicy mustard. It's really good. I like it. It's great with this kind of a, a meal. And then I'm going to cut up an apple and I'm going to cut up some cheese and put salt and pepper and mix all this up and send it to the guys. And that's what they've been liking. So that's going to be um, dojo dinner tonight. And I'll eat leftovers from it too. The elk bite size, I like being able to use one of the little roasts, maybe even a sirloin roast that might have some tough stuff in it. When I'm cutting it into bite size, then it's not that hard to cut that out of there and makes it just as good. When you cook it up, it's still tender, so <clears throat> that's what I'm doing tonight. This video is going to be a collection of the random stuff that I have filmed. There's not much that ties it together. It's just tidbits. It's tidbits of stuff that happened over the last week. You wanted more crackers? See, I like crackers. They're delicious. Especially these little owl cheese crackers. So I was telling you something, and then Ellie called me away because she needed more crackers. But this week is is it's par for the course. <laughs> The fact that I don't have a video ready for you is, uh, is a good indication of how my week went. It was full of really good things. Lots of good things. Spring break is always fun. I love getting to see my nieces. They got to come over. That was great. Watching. It was just, it's heck, been hectic, fitting everything in, fitting stuff in. I've got, I've got some video from a photo shoot that I went and did with my friend Yana. I don't really have much video of it, just a little bit. I am on my way to see my friend Yana Robertson. She's the one who makes all the sweet leggings that I'm always wearing. <laughs> She's the founder of Pure Fanatic. And she has some new stuff that she's come out with and we are going to do a photo shoot today. So it'll be fun. This girl lives in some sweet freaking country. Well, that was a blast. Um, <clears throat> we just got to do a bunch of fun pictures and she sent me off with some fun new leggings and a skirt to take some pictures of at home and on some different adventures. So thank you, Yana. Shout out to Yana, pure 
fanatic. You gotta check out their stuff. It's really unique and beautiful. I love it. Good times. Um, coming up soon, I gotta go out and do a little bit of a photo shoot by myself for her with some leggings that she gave me and a skirt. I was gonna film that for you. I was gonna do that yesterday and film that for you and ran out of time and it didn't happen. So, this is like, plants don't always come to fruition when we want them to. But, a lot of good things happen. Even though all the things that I thought I needed to get done didn't get done, <clears throat> A lot of good things did get done. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this since December. Do you know what this is? This is my deer head. This is my deer head from my Illinois buck. So when I went to Illinois, I got to go see Rob and Emily Sharkey. And I shot a buck while I was over there and it was so much fun. And we did a European skull mount on it while I was there, but I couldn't take it on the airplane. Or if I could, I wasn't sure that I could, so I didn't. Um, so they have been packaged it up and were shipping it to me. And it finally came today. And I'm about to lose my marbles and so freaking out. Oh, hopefully it's in good shape. Hey, check this out. Thanks guys! I'm gonna rock that everywhere. Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't seen this since December. Wow, they packaged it good. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to see it again. I can't wait to show my hubby when he gets home from work. There it is. It's so much different than the Idaho bucks I've shot. Just the shape of it and yeah. I can still see him doing cartwheels, flipping head over heels when I first shot him. <laughs> I get to relive the story all over again. And now to find a spot for him on the wall. I'll make one. Thank you guys so much. I'm so happy. <laughs> and I guess we'll take what we can get. I got my workouts done. The kids are fed, and the family's fed, and taken care of. The house is relatively clean. <laughs> yeah, the dogs are alive. <laughs> so I can't complain. Sometimes there's things in life that stress us out. I have some stuff that's stressing me out. And I can't really talk about it, but life is going to throw curves at you. And when it does, you roll with the punches. You take it one day at a time. You take it one step at a time. And you make it work. And sometimes in the end, those big curveballs that seem like just huge obstacles or really frustrating times good comes out of that that you never could have envisioned happening. <laughs> Dixie's cleaning her feet. <laughs> Those good times that are that come out of frustrating circumstances. Yeah, we'll take those. I'm sure there'll be some here sometime soon. And if I see any, and I'm like, hey, this good thing came out of that frustrating time. I'll be sure to share it with you. So bear with me on the random vlog of randomness that is this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's delicious. All done. All done. Are you all done? <laughs>